here with Melissa Cervantes. You're gonna make a pro debut. You're gonna make a AKA Thunder Rosa, don't forget. Uh, Get that straight. <laughs> from the Lucha Underground. Uh, so why did you move to MMA? Well, let me fl first. Lucha Underground, Women's of Wrestling. Currently in, oh, I was in Nacion Lucha Libre in Mexico. And currently I'm in a National Wrestling Alliance full time. Well, while the change to, from professional wrestling to MMA, I need a new challenge in my life and a new, new challenge in my career. And uh, Combate America has brought that to me as, as an option. Um, but I'm, I decided that it was time to do something different and uh, we decided to do MMA. So you do have the wrestling background. Yes. Background. How is that going to transition into MMA? You know, everyone starts with the, the background, you know, jiu-jitsu yes. or wrestling, and you do have one of the strong ones. Yeah, I, I'm definitely um, in my, my, in my ground game. I, I feel very comfortable on the ground with jiu-jitsu. That's one of the things that I was studying before um, I started studying striking and, and everything else. That was my introduction to MMA was Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And uh, what coach, uh, what team are you training? With? Brazilian top team from San Antonio, Texas. And how long have you been with them? I've been with them since 2016. So you're ready to make that jump. Yes. Uh, obviously, you know, the man, Alberto Dorio, he's doing the same thing. Yes. You know. However, let's make make it clear. Alberto Dorio is not making a, a jump. He has already experienced as a professional MMA fighter in Pride, which a lot of people don't know that because I was like, a long time ago before he became, he became really famous but you know let's not discredit him from not you know being present in in the MMA arena he's always he always had that background oh exactly we, we know uh, we know Alberto very much you know he's he's got a uh, great wrestling credentials and not just wrestling you know almost uh, competing in the pan games yes yes so he, he's his background is solid he's not just jumping in no but uh, you know, you're going to be trading jumping off the rings and you know possibly throwing elbows and knees are you ready for for this type of uh, uh combat you know yeah. from wrestling wrestling i don't i don't say wrestling is fake but the physical the physical part is real well i mean if you get slammed from the third rope to the apron it hurts and it, you get a shot from your neck to your your sacrum like a uh, leg drop from the throw rope it hurts a uh, knee to the face it hurts a uh, boot to the face it hurts people have broken their noses people have broken orbital bones people have broken ribs legs arms and I, I mean for people to say that wrestling is fake yeah it might be predetermined but it's not fake yeah that's what I'm talking about no, I'm not talking about the <laughs> part. Yeah, I, I don't want to get a boot yes. to the face especially by, <laughs> by anyone that's the part I'm talking about um, did you watch the women fight earlier? Yes, I did. And uh, what did you think? Did you, did you see? I knew, like I knew the young lady on the red. April, April. April. She was gonna be wild. As soon as I saw her, like her stand, I was like, she's yeah, she's ready to blow. And then she had, you know, uh, the whole family, the uncles, the tias, the abuelita, todo mundo, and the and the crowd. Yeah, she was she was there. So it was really interesting to see. I I really like to study other people. Um, and uh, definitely I've been one of, I'm really a big fan of Super Meli. Like she is one of the strongest um, martial artists here at Combate. And um, also Jasmine, she's from Tijuana. Uh, another compañera de Tijuana. Un saludo. <laughs> she's really good too. Can you see your fight going like that? Something similar like that? Like, like no pass? While as an Abraham? Well, I, I, I mean, I really, I'm, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna have you guys watch the the, the, the bout before I say anything. I'm just, uh, I guess I'm ready, and um, I want you to be surprised and see and see you, it yourself. Your opponent, Nadine. How do you feel you match up with her? And she's really, um, she has a lot of experience. Uh, she's competed in jiu-jitsu, and she's uh, she's done five. She had five amateur fights and one uh, uh, professional. So I think she's she comes really hungry, and she comes to uh, to prove a point. You know, just like like me, I'm I'm coming to do the same thing. But um, like I said, I'm ready for everything, and um, and I'm I'm getting prepared to, for to face her. Well, you sound very confident, and uh, how can we see this fight? How can the fans that follow you um, now get to follow you in your MMA career? Well, they can see for? they can see this uh, fight on Univision, um, and also they can watch it at D A D A Z N app. Uh, how can they follow you on social media? They can follow me on social media and Thunder Rosa 22 on Twitter, Thunder Rosa 22 on Instagram, Thunder Rosa 2 on Facebook, 
and they can also, if you want to shop, go to Big Cartel Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa, the MMA debut in San Antonio next week on Friday for Combat the Americas. Don't miss this fight and, uh, you know, stay tuned and uh, she's got, she's got surprises she wants to Thank you. Appreciate the time by selecting you. Thank you.